it's time to go back to North Wales and Mould and the Polly's Brewery. And this is their Slacks uh, India Palau 7% double dry hopped. What's it going to be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today I'm going to review this beer. This is a double dry hop slacks. Um, it is an India Pale Ale, 7% um, from Polly's Brew. And it's a lovely artwork. You've obviously got this sort of mountains. I mean, Polly's is in mould. It's not a million miles. I presume that this is Snowdonia. Could even be Mo Fama, which is, no, it's Snowdonia because there's a train on it. I'm sure it's definitely Snowdonia. Um, which is a million miles in North Wales. Now, you may have seen my unboxing Polly's um, video, which I did a few days ago. Maybe it might have even been yesterday when I posted it. Um, what I've decided to do is that, you know, I've, I've reviewed a lot of Polly's on the channel and I wanted to show you the beer that I bought from Polly's, really just to give it a showcase of all the different things that are available from them. And in fact, that all the different types of beers that they, they do and certainly they have on their website at the moment. Um, I'm not going to review them all because otherwise I will literally have my whole channel be full of Polly's and, you know, they don't give me any free beer. So I'm not going to give them 24-7 uh, coverage of all their beers. So, um, so I thought I just would review a couple of them so I'm going to do this one and there's a few more that I may I may do you know in a few weeks time but I've got a new order coming through from the Fuss Club um, and so I'll be doing more of those sort of beers over the next sort of coming months um, into December we've got some interesting stouts and sours and all kinds of stuff coming up so anyway back to this beer this is as I said double dry hop slacks I mean it's called slacks but it's, it's a double dry hop slap so I don't know if they had a an IPA normal not a double dry hop slacks whether they had a Palau called Slacks, I'm not sure. But this has got Enigma and Mosaic in it. So let's crack it open, get it in a glass, see what it's all about. I just hope it's, you know, up to the usual standards. I mean, I, I do find that I'm starting to sort of be more, I, I, I prefer more the sort of double dry hot pails um, opposed to the IPAs. But, I mean, this looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? Custard in the glass, two fingers, pretty much white compacted head and I already I can smell big big aromas so let's get get in and see what they are oh it smells good yeah I mean it's got a lot of mango and peach in it pineapple oh, I just it's like a big tropical fruit bomb really it's it's one of those sort of beers that you can't stop smelling it's just like fruit juice it's really really good now Enigma Hop I know it's the Polly's used Enigma Hot a few times, and it's not something that's used that much. I don't really have it that much, so I'm not sure what it brings to the party, but it certainly smells good. So let's wait and see. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. Really juicy, really thick, creamy body. Definitely a lot of peach. And apricot, big stone fruit flavours in this. So yeah, all of them, mango, peach, apricot. I'm not really getting much else, um, it, but it's really sort of, you know, it's got that real sort of pulpiness of the, of, of the sort of fruit flavours, really sort of strong, almost to the point of dankness, but not quite over the line in terms of dankness. I wouldn't necessarily call it a nice citrusy refreshing drink though is it's not there's not much in the way of citrus this is big on the stone fruits peach is all day long but it's got this creaminess about it maybe there's also a little bit of i don't know you get something about that that creaminess that peachiness and then it sort of comes you get suddenly waves of like this sort of lime zest quite strong waves of that and then also a little bit of grapefruit there on the back end as well oh it's a it's a really nice beer actually the more i drink it the more complexity comes into it but at the same time it's it's just nicely balanced i think that seven percent it's just about right really it's just getting to that point where you're thinking oh it's a little bit more stronger and you get the fruit flavors would be a bit more dank but it's still quite the fruit's still fresh tasting it's still quite sort of vibrant 
yeah, that's a cracking beer. A lot going in it, full of juice. If anyone sort of says, what's a what's a, a, a fruit bomb or a juice bomb or whatever, this is pretty much a pretty damn good example of it. Really fruity, really juicy, wrapped in this creamy body. It's a smashing beer. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Double Dry Hop Slacks. It's an India Pale Ale from Polly, 7% Enigma and Mosaic. Yeah, actually, when I think about the Mosaic, there's definitely some of those Mosaic sort of flavours coming in. You, you are getting that slight sort of bubble gum. That sort of dry dankness sometimes that you says, you know, where it sort of coats the mouth. I, get, I seem to get that more with Mosaic. But we'll go through the scores. So first, the aroma. Well, as soon as I popped the can, the room was filled with a lovely sort of, you know, almost like a trademark Polly's aroma. Real juicy tropical fruits. And then when I put it to my nose, big thing was really inviting. Yeah, there's a little bit of, it's that mosaic. I think it, it you know, my, it's not my favourite hop. I do, I do think it's used, I mean, I know it's used a lot in lots of beers, usually with Citra, with Simcoe, with other stuff. But if it's too dominant, it, it can be it can be too dominant and it can it can overpower it. It has that sort of very almost like berry, slight bubblegummy sort of aroma and flavour, and a little bit more sort of dankness really into the beer. I think the Enigma keeps it a little bit in check, but it's starting to as it sort of warms up in the glass, it's getting there. But the aroma wise, Apart from that sort of bubbly gum sort of aroma, which is now coming to the fore, is a lot of mango, peach, and a little bit of apricot in the aroma. It's certainly very juicy and quite strong in the aroma. So I think it's pretty it's pretty good, actually. It's, it makes you want to drink it. So 15 for aroma. Appearance, well, again, Polly's certainly make beers that look pretty good. You've got this lovely lace in the glass, bright yellow, really sort of you can see that there's a thick creamy body there i think it looks pretty stunning so it's worthy of a nine out of ten flavor wise really really juicy there's an element of slight dryness on the back end that slight i think it's like a sort of i don't know it's, it's dryness or a slight sort of the slight sort of dankness really from that mosaic hop but certainly up front Big hits of mango and peach and apricot. I think, you know, it's it's a very strong in the stone fruit flavours, really. And, and as I say, I think sometimes that the way that it sort of coats the mouth, coats the back of the throat and the tongue, you, you know, I think you, you feel that you get more of that sort of real pulpy dankness of the fruit. Um, so you get more of the real stronger stone, stone fruit. So apricot is, comes in a little bit more, lingers a little bit. And then it sort of it's it's sort of still left on on the tongue really, very smooth, very creamy, low levels of carbonation, absolutely what you want from a from a sort of New England well it is a New England IPA. You can't you don't pour out a beer and like looks like that and think this isn't a New England IPA. It's got that nice creaminess which really sort of like is the cherry on the top really of the beer. Pretty good. I'm giving it thirty five for flavour. Value for money. Well, this was a little bit more. I think it was about four pounds directly from the from the website. So, still pretty cheap for a seven percent IPI. I still think that's pretty damn cheap. Good value. You know, I spend five and a half pounds when I'm buying from the bottle shops. Buy direct. It's a bit cheaper. I think that's worthy of a, a of a nine out of ten for value because I think four quid is a very good price for a seven percent IPA when it's this good. And then my overall experience, well, it's certainly very juicy. It's certainly got big stone fruit flavours and it's it's very sort of quaffable. You know, it's got this creaminess about it, which I always like, beers with that sort of creamy texture. Um, and, you know, as I say, the flavour sort of develop a little bit as it warms up. Even now, you know, I'm getting apricot and lime and, and grapefruit, a little bit more sort of coming into the fore. There's a lot of stone fruits. If you like stone fruit flavours, this would be right up your street. I, I maybe like a little bit brighter, a little less dank, but you know, you've got to expect that with a 7% IPA. I'm giving it 13 for my overall experience. So I think it's pretty good. Um, I have had better 
but it's up there with the poly sort of stuff. It's just, you know, it just ticks all those boxes. It's a really good, it's a really good, if you like New England IPAs, it's a really good beer. And polys make good ones. You know, there's a lot of good stuff from polys. And this is up there with them. So we top those scores up and we get an 81 out of 100. So it's a highly recommended beer. I mean, a lot of the polys are, but this is a, this is good, you know. It's it's just it's just perfect. It's just you know, sometimes we I drink a beer and I think, yeah, I can see the values in this. It's it's got good aroma and it's got nice flavours and it goes down well, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And you know, you do find yourself repeating yourself a little bit when you do you lot of these YouTube videos. But when you want to sit and open a beer and think, well, what do I want? I like New England IPAs. Everyone knows I like New England IPAs. I want that creamy sort of soft mouth feel. I want big juicy flavours and I want it to be easy to drink. This is exactly what, what I'm looking for, really. This is your sort of beer that if you like New England IPAs, then you know Polly's make really good ones. So this is Slacks. I don't know if it's still available on the website, but if you do see it in a, in a bottle shop, give it a go. It's pretty good. Again, really nice. I do like their artwork. I, I don't know what it is about it. I mean, sometimes they have lots of very, very sort of designy sort of stuff. And other times they have some nice photography. And, and this is some nice photography and it's sort of local. So I think that's pretty good. And it's offset with this nice sort of uh, metallic pinky sort of colour, which I, you know, again, I just, I just, I just, their, their, their art design is really, really good. And it's up there with some of the best art design, I think, uh, in craft beer today. So 81, highly recommended. <sighs> Drink pollies. That's all I can say, you know. If you like pollies, let me know what you think. If you've had this one, what do you think? Is it up there with the best pollies? What is the best pollies? You know, so many good stuff. It's it's it'd be difficult. If someone put me on the spot tomorrow and or even today and said to me, Rocker, what's the best pollies beer you've ever drank? I would struggle because 90% of them are really good. You know, whether there's one that it's difficult for one to really stick out because of the quality, the bar is that high. And I'm going to go away now and think about it, see which ones I have. I like to keep all my all, all the cans. You know, when I started this YouTube channel, I, I used to keep a lot of my cans. When I used to do it in my office, I used to have all my cans behind me, but we ran out of space, so I thought I need to recycle them. And I thought I can't keep keeping these cans. So what I've chosen to do is keep all the Polly's cans. And, you know, just because I think that the cans are really, really good. So I need to go back through them and think which ones are really what were really really good. I always think of that one that I had that was a double IPA from Polly's. Um, I say what trying to remember what it's called now. Had lots of stars on the outside of it. I'll, I'll come. I'll remember that next time I do a Polly's. Um, that was very very good. For something for double IPA, it was very very easy to drink and full of full of flavour. So I'm whittled on enough. So until the next one, and I promise I'm not going to do too many of these pollies because, you know, there's some people going on there. Look, Rocky, you, I mean, pollies send you free beer? They don't. So anyway, until the next one, you know what you do. Like and subscribe if you like this content I'm providing and keep on rocking.